Howdy again everybody, Steve Green here, and I wanted to talk today about this uh, TerraCycle uh, Fastback System bag. It's part of a series of bags they make for, different, for tools and different things. This bag here is made for a, uh, a pump. I happen to have a Topeak Mountain Morph pump, and the uh, Topeak Road Morph pump is about the same size. And so if you, if, and these are kind of long, these are a little over, about 14 inches long. And so people might say, okay, well, huh, where do I put that on my bicycle or my tricycle? You know, you put it in a, a pannier. Some things aren't just long, just aren't long enough to hold these. Uh, on the trike I used to have, um, my touring trike, my ice uh, Q, I had, I had one of these. Uh, unfortunately, I, I just had to buy another one because the the bag I sold with my trike when I sold it a few years ago, and they're worth every penny, as is everything that TerraCycle makes, heavy-duty Cordura nylon and all that kind of stuff. But basically, your pump slides into this bag here, and it's made specifically for a pump. goes in there like that, and then it zips down. So now your pump is contained. Now, <clears throat> with this, you get a couple of uh, Velcro straps. You get a universal piece of Velcro. There's vel this is uh, two pieces stuck together. And you get these two little um, uh, snaps or things that fit over. Let's say you have something, a piece of, uh, of uh, a bag that already has is strapped onto your frame. You can use these in conjunction with the back of this to attach it to the other bag that's already attached to your frame. Now on the back, this has a series of mounting areas that you can use to put this Velcro through to mount it on your frame. Okay, so you, it, it's very versatile. And then these two silver areas, they are the other way if you want to mount it vertically, and, and that's where it works on your frame. <clears throat> on my trike before, I had it mounted ver vertically where I had my light attached. And what I'm going to do on my, my uh, <clears throat> recumbent touring, long wheelbase recumbent touring bicycle now, I'm going to also mount this vertically at um, the back of the seat so it's, it's out of the way. I mean, basically, you rarely use a pump. Uh, I mean, if you're on a, a long trip, a uh, cross-country trip, obviously you'll be using a pump every few days to keep your tires inflated um, so that... You know, they give the maximum protection for your wheels and your rims, and they, they roll along uh, easily. Uh, TerraCycle includes this little thing that tells how to use that these little attachment uh, uh, things I just showed you about, and uh, it explains how to use these th straps and all. So this is a nifty little thing. This bag is uh, $50, and some of you might say, oh, I can go on Amazon and get a bag for less than 50 bucks, you know, for 24 95 or something. Well, sure you can, but I'm, like I've said before uh, over the years, and uh, I'm going to say it again now, TerraCycle up in Portland, Oregon, owned by Pat Franz, uh, a fellow I met at a couple of the recumbent cycle cons, the first one in 2011, and then again in 2013 I saw him there. He had a TerraCycle booth, and um, he makes quality stuff. Okay, I got those flags that I talked about in another video, and this, and I've had water bottle holders for, for my trike, um, my trikes that hold uh, two water bottles on your mainframe in front of where you sit. All the stuff that uh, Pat and Ter uh, TerraCycle makes is excellent. So, yeah, do you pay more? Yes, you pay more, but you get what you pay for. And I've used the cheap stuff, um, and this just, this is flat last. This bag is never going to go bad on you. Um, and you know, it's just one zipper right there. Your, your pump is in there. 
it's great. It gets the pump out of the way, and then you can mount this thing anywhere you want. You can mount it horizontally, hanging from your frame. You, you know, you can mount it vertically. You can mount it at an angle on a recumbent seat back. Whatever you want to do. I mean, the mounting options are endless with all the stuff they give you. And they don't, you know, they don't give you a lot, but that's all it takes. And uh, I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mount this up on my. Uh, my um, Easy Racer Gold Rush uh, bike, and I think I'm going to put it on the seat, but I'm going to mount it up, and then I'm going to uh, show you what it's like uh, mounted there. And obviously, you usually want to mount this someplace where it doesn't get in your way, but it's still easy to get to. All right, stand by a second. <clears throat> well, okay, I have just mounted it on my recumbent seat back, <clears throat> and it's definitely out of the way. This is the bag right here, okay, between my two hands, and the pump is inside of that. And the zipper area is right up here at the top on the other side. Now, the drawback to this location is that it is a little hard to get it out of there because I, I have to reach my hand in here because I have another bag here and unzip it. But the, the nice thing about it is that the pump is out of the way, De definitely out of the way. I experimented with mounting it on the outside of these uh, seat bars, but then it kind of slid around and it got in the way of my Ortlieb pannier system here and my Arkel uh, top trunk. So that wasn't going to work. Now mounted in here, it's basically out of the way. Yeah, it's a little little bit different. See, I ha if I put my hand here, I can... I can grab the zipper, well, I can grab the zipper from the top too, and unzip it. You can see it's, it's not as easy as if I had done it from the outside. Okay, unzip it, and then access my pump right there. Access my pump right there at the top. And so, for the inconvenience, I'm willing to trade the inconvenience of getting the pump out since it's not something that, uh, you know, you have to use continually. Um, I'm willing to trade that, at, le at least to try it, for the uh, inconvenience of it being mounted in this kind of hard-to-access location. So I could change it later. These Velcro straps that hold it on, they're easy to get to. It's, you know, I mean, I could put it on the frame down there someplace, if I want to, and who knows, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try that. Um, but for right now, this gets it out of the way and it's secure, and I'll give it a try and see what I think. Okie doke. Enough for the TerraCycle um, uh, pump bag that holds my Toe Peak Mountain Morph bicycle pump. Oh, and by the way, the uh, Toe Peak Mountain Morph and Road Morph can uh, be used for Presta or Schrader valves. You just have to uh, reverse the uh, little part inside. Uh, maybe I can show that to you now if I can get it out of here. <laughs> yeah, you see, it, it's a little, it's kind of a hassle getting it in and out of this. I'm, I may well end up changing where this is, where I mount this, but uh, basically, on, on these, uh, th this little part here unscrews and you just flip the little piece inside one way for Schrader, the big uh, valves like they use on cars and motorcycle inner tubes. And you flip it the other way, which I have it for Presta because with these racing wheels I have on here, they use Presta. And so Basically, that's it. You could see that it's, you know it's not impossible to get the pump out of there. So, so basically, the pump just sits inside the TerraCycle bag right there. So, if you're looking for some way to store your pump, either on your seat back or on your frame, I recommend the uh, TerraCycle pump bag. All right, folks, that's enough. See ya.